Okay, we are on. Hello and welcome. Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Ganda titi galai di gratulash. Tu kenata tunda. Hmm. Hmm. I am here to discover you. Well, thank you for coming through. Do you have a name? Yes. M. Bombay. Like the city of India. Oh, Are you aware of Bombay? You don't have to. Thank you. We know who you are. We are the collective. The collective. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very, thank you very much very for much showing up, sir. Answer. The name is, of course, not coincidental. <laughs> From the meaning of the word, go. Incident. We would rather use co creation. You have created us, and we are co creating you as we speak with you. As we feel you, as we are getting to know you, and we are integrating your energies into us, because we are aware that you are another us. All of you, each of you. Well, the Bombay, the significance, the reason why we chose that name is this is the place. Well, let us say. Not only place, the Bombay is the energy that integrates all, all with curiosity, invites, so just to feel us, feel the city of Bombay. So this was a little introduction, so that you know who are you dealing with. Okay. okay. So, so that area, area of, of Earth, Earth. Um, isn't, isn't that, that a very specific, specific energetic, energetic point, point of, of Gaia, Gaia over, over there, there by, by India? India? Indeed. And Could you elaborate on that more? Of course. India at all times 
was it a place on earth of remembrance in the house always the place where masters came to learn and the Bombay is the heart of the India so this connotation the story that you connect with the place is aggregating the stories that happen there so you could see this as a vortex as a place where energies from the human collective enter the crystalline grid and alter it for the benefit of the human collective. Yes. yes. So, so there have, there been, have been thousands, thousands of, pyramids of pyramids that have been that built specifically, specifically in, in, in India, India and now and they're, they're being built all over the world. world. And I'm and talking, talking about very recently. recently. Um, um, how how there's, there's been a been significant, significant increase, increase in, in these, these energies, energies you're speaking of and the connections, connections since the pyramids the have been built? built? Yes. The pyramid, not just tetrahedron, but any pyramidal structure, is a focal point, a tractor, an energy generator, and in that sense, many of you, whether you know it consciously or not, have helped building pyramids on the surface of your planet to allow this what is happening now. And the number of pyramids, of course, is growing in this time. As many of you are becoming aware. Of the. Significance. Of the shape. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. It's, very it's very exciting, exciting as, as more, more people, people continue, continue to, to realize. realize. Hello, Hello, my name, my is, name Justin. is Justin. I have some, I have questions, some questions for you. For you. Is, that, is, that okay? is that okay? You're welcome to ask, Justin. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Part of my, my mission, mission here is, here is to, to clarify, clarify the focal, focal points and energy meridians of Gaia. Gaia. Indeed. And by, and by building, building pyramids, pyramids over, over the, the focal, focal points, points will help, will help complete, complete the, the Christ, Christ consciousness, consciousness net. net. Yes, this is why yeah. you are hearing this. Mm. Mm. Can you Can tell, you me, tell how me how many focal, focal points, points are, are missing, missing pyramids? pyramids? Nothing is ever missing. Everything is exactly as it is supposed to be. Always, at all times. Only reason why you could experience something unwanted is because you resist this principle. 
is because you are arrogant enough to think that you know better than the reality that is you. And do you, not only you, many of you, there is nothing to overcome, there is nothing to eliminate. It's funny how close the word eliminate is to the word that will actually work for you instead of against you illuminate whatever it is that is coming your way you are never on the wrong path. And whatever upsets you, whatever irritates you, that is exactly why you are here. To integrate that. To learn how to deal with it. and to show that to the rest of the collective. So the time of the struggle is the time to rejoice because you know you are moving forward. The challenges will always be here for you. This is the fun part. So, so for the, for the energy, energy points, points of the earth, earth that, that specifically would benefit the most from having pyramids built on them. Are you able to name any of those? Those that are excited to build pyramids already know where they will put them. All others we okay, need to concern. Just be grateful. Because each of you has own part to play in all of this. You are Thank you. all of you are necessary. All of you are irreplaceable building blocks of that which is going to transpire in front of the eyes of the whole galaxy on your earth. Yes, yes, it yes, is yes. incredible the privileges we have been. We've, we've given, given ourselves, ourselves to be a part of this part experience. Of Indeed. We do we have, have a have question, question for you from Jonah. Jonah. Um, 
She would she like, would to, like know. to know. She said, she my said spirit my guide spirit told me through Jim that, that I am one of three people that together will open the Sphinx in, in Egypt. Egypt. Can he, Can see, he see, say anything say about, about it? it? And, and I personally agree. I also want to add in that I worked with the lady who apparently has a key to open the Sphinx. I doubt there is a, I doubt this is simply a coincidence. As we said, nothing is coincidence. It's co creation. And only you decide whether it is conscious co creation or subconscious. And whatever comes your way. If you do not disregard it, if you do not second guess it, it will always work. So don't worry, you don't need me to tell you what to do. I'm here as a reminder. You already know what you need to know. And you will. And there's no doubt about that. You will do at the right time what you need to do for the rest of the humanity. You cannot fail. You cannot do it wrong. The required, the only requirement is that you are, and that is fulfilled. So is it true that there may be a spaceship underneath the Sphinx? Truth. The question is, is it the way that you would prefer to experience it? Right, right. And then you have your answer. For some, yes, there is a spaceship, but not for all, never for all. Right, right. Okay. okay. The only, the only truth. Is that you can choose always you can choose in other words as you know this might be more familiar for you all truths are true Okay. okay. All variations exist at the same time. Yes. And by your choice, they manifest. So take the responsibility and play with it. Play with your creation. It doesn't really matter what you will create. You are inspired.
It doesn't matter which way you will go. Because all paths are equal. Yes. Do you have any advice for us in this room right now, or me in particular? For moving forward. Yes. You are. The one that holds the pendulum. You are the one swinging it. It doesn't matter if it seems that the pendulum moves by itself. You still decide. With this, we will leave you. Thank you all. It was great pleasure. And it still is for us to recognize more of ourselves through you. See you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, back. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that, that was pretty that was sweet, sweet, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That was great. That was great. What mean was that? The channel? channel was that a was collective? That a collective? Yeah. 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 I believe the, uh, it was it was set in the channel. Wasn't it? Yeah, that was incredible. He had some wicked insight that I understood really, really well. That was awesome. Yeah, much higher level stuff there. I mean, you can't even can't even get by with like a normal uh, normal English phrases. Don't matter. They don't work. <laughs> that was great. Right. That was the reinforcement again of um, whatever comes our way, even though it's difficult to handle, um, it's coming our way because we're supposed to learn how to handle it. And maybe eventually we will learn. <laughs> no, yeah. So, Joanna had questions about. The, uh, yeah, what's underneath the pyramid. the pyramid. The Sphinx, the Sphinx is a guardian, is a guardian to, to the antechamber chamber. that's beneath the pyramid. The pyramid. Mm -hmm. Three pyramids. The pyramid. Inside, Inside the, the fifth dimension, dimension antechamber antechamber is kind of like a like smaller a small pyramid. pyramid. Or like or a hat, hat that, would that would fit on top of the main one. Is that a black uh, pyramid? Uh, yeah, but it's, yeah, upside, it's down. upside down. Right, and, and, and it's in the middle of all three? And it's, and it's it's deep, deep in the earth, earth. Like, yeah. long, long way down, down. and it's, it's an antechamber. Anti it's just it's like just a like a, a focal, focal point, point to pull, pull the hat out, out. Is my understanding, and um, when, when the, the Christ, Christ consciousness, consciousness net, net is up and up running, running, that, that antechamber anti can, can be, be uh, accessed. accessed. And, and the hat, the hat will, act will act as a protective, a protective boundary, boundary for the earth. The earth. And, it, and will it will also amplify, amplify the, energy the energy of Gaia, of Gaia is my understanding, my understanding. Which, will which will allow, allow so, many so many more people, people to, join to join higher, higher consciousness. consciousness. Oh, wow. So we really are the catalysts bringing this huge shift. And then once the shift changes, everybody else can kind of come online in a way. Yeah, but that's a pretty big boundary, you know. 
But the energy focal point that I found is a military bombing range. How do you how do you get the military to stop? How do you get them to stop bombing a focal point? I think collective. Um, I think through the collective we can do that. You know, just like um, you set up a, a thought, and anyone who wants to back the thought, um, you just invite them in. You know, I mean, we have this ability where we go into a restful, um, into meditation, and like you were saying, you look for um, where can I be of help, where can I be of assistance, and I. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Create a mastermind around group, group consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. Through our sacred selves. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, well, we have this thing has been going on since ancient time and in my culture history. When the invaders come, the, the 500 women will meet the, the lightning strikes of people who chase them out. But you, you have to have that meditation. That'll stop. Yeah. 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 When, when groups, groups come together and they set their intention with the same idea in mind and they meditate and they manifest, absolutely amazing incredible things thing that, that seem impossible happen. True miracles can happen. And I mean, the more I learn about that stuff, it's like, you know, like today, somebody in the YouTube live chat, they were, they wanted to ask, and this is before the 2.1 year old hybrid came through. Oh my God, she was adorable. Um, I don't want to go. Yeah, it's just like, no, I don't want to go. 